are a little bit later this morning, but we're still early. At this moment, the sun has just come up over the railing. I don't know if we'll be doing a time lapse or what we'll be doing again, but uh, maybe there'll be something at the end of this video, and maybe there won't. It looks kind of nice at this very moment. Now, uh, as you can see, I did get my spray booth back up onto the model table, and uh, I have sort of, I'm sort of leaning towards the lightest gray I've got, which I believe is this one right here, the 19. Uh, it's called Sky Gray. Uh, I think that's the one we're going to use. It sort of is the best of both worlds. It's uh, it's neither white nor is it uh, you know a dark color. I think it's going to look okay. Um, as for the the tops of the boats, I'll probably be using the deck tan, uh, and then maybe uh, to highlight certain things, we'll be painting it white or maybe a, a very dark dark gray. It's it's hard to say what I'm going to do. I have this uh, NATO black here. And it seems to me I've got another kind of black. And of course we have the, the number 77 darker gray. Um, you know, just to sort of accent some of the highlight, some of the uh, details that are that are on the that are on the boat here. Like the uh, well, I don't think we want to have these lights painted dark gray. I think they'd, I think these are. So, I do believe these are navigation lights. This. Anyway, you're, you're uh, probably going out of focus here. Now, where did I get that out of? I think it was right here. Okay, uh, let's get on with it today and uh, see what we can do. So, what is the latest on our cute little rabbits? Well, yesterday in the evening I went out and I put out fresh carrots. And I came back into the house and I get my uh, camera all focused in on it and I'm watching it and... <laughs> and just right about then Missy comes and decides she's going to uh, rearrange things for me. Well, I go back outside and I fix them up the way I wanted. And I'm kind of concerned because I'm thinking, are the rabbits going to want to eat those carrots that have been sort of uh, uh, <laughs> mauled by the dog? Because he got his uh, breath and his uh, dog saliva all over them. And uh, But, you know, one did show up. And during the evening, or during the night, I guess you might say, if you're watching the time in the upper right-hand side of the screen, you see that rabbits did come by. Anyway, that's the latest on the rabbits. Nothing really new to tell you. I, I do get comments, people asking, how about how are the rabbits? Well, uh, this is the latest. Unless something happens later today, uh, that's going to be it for our rabbit segment. Now, I don't think we were we would be able to. Well, I guess we could uh, get these hulls mixed up with the parts. For instance, if I was to remove all these numbers from here, we should still be able to figure out which was number fifteen and which was number sixteen. But when you paint these hulls like this, and and let's say I'm spraying down. Now I fasten them down onto something, and you you're spraying down at an ang angle like this. You're not really viewing them the way uh, a person's going to view them in, uh, when they're on the ship, because when when they're on the ship, they're going to be right side up. And and this 
you know the the uh, the bumpers all around the outside, uh, like on the on the gunnels here, um, the uh, or the rub rail or whatever they call that. When you know if you if you're spraying like this, it you're not going to see this the the spray right along in in here. So my thinking is that what I want to do is I want to take these hulls and put them on some sort of a little pedestal so that I can you know manipulate them around individually so in other words I, I'm gonna just see and I haven't, I haven't tried this yet this this could be dried out for all I know anyway can I make a 16 on the inside there because there's we're not gonna see the inside of that anyway uh, well wait a minute I might be spraying the inside well, let's just try it here. Yeah. Okay. So, so that can be red. Um. All right. Now, yeah. This this one you are going to be able to see the inside because it goes. You know, it goes like this. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, maybe I have to come up with a different plan here. Well, like I say, I, I do believe that we should be able to later on figure out which is which. Uh, even without the numbers, we should be able to know that. See, can we tell from the plan? Yeah, sure, you can, you can see the, the upper parts are, dis, are more or less different. Uh, like this one and this one are similar, but there there is definitely differences so uh, yeah I don't think we need to worry too much about getting it mixed up uh, I, now number 20 of course it's going to be obvious it's the one that has the two uh, propeller shafts okay um, let's carry on here okay here's my latest thinking on this uh, yes we are going to be able to determine which boat is which number but we're not going to be able to figure out which propeller goes with which boat. So we'll make sure that we leave the propellers in the appropriate tins. And as far as the bottom of the hulls go, uh, that we're looking through, like you can almost see the 16 that I wrote there. Well, what we'll do with, with that is uh, I'm going to paint the bottom of the hull, not the light gray that I'm going to do the outside. I'm going to do it the, the darker gray or or even the the nato black and that way the the deck tan of this upper piece is going to contrast um, for instance i believe these are supposed to represent uh, benches that the guys would sit on and in all likelihood um, there might have even been ore locks along the side in case the motor broke down because this this is a powered boat um, who knows um, Forget about the ore locks. I don't know. It probably was too big to row. On the other hand, remember those old galleons that they used to use two, three thousand years ago? Uh, anyway, enough rambling here. Blue tack. Now, probably about ten minutes ago, I was noticing that my little container of medium here was getting kind of thick. So I thought, okay, I'll just add a little bit of thin to it. I've got lots of thin. And I grabbed my uh, container off of the uh, shelf there. But look at this. What's going on there? That doesn't look good. Now is that because I did have this thing close to something that was warm but not hot? In other words it was very close to the power supply that's running one of my overhead lights. And uh, yeah. Is it going to just keep on going like that or maybe I'll, I'll put this in a cool place. Maybe I should have been storing these in the fridge. Okay, I just read this just now for the first time. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigeration extends 
shelf life. Now that's a bummer. Yeah. Now th this is not warm. It's just room temperature. So, uh, but what's with this? Well, here's something else I noticed for the first time. The cap is cracked. Now, is that the uh, rubber or the plastic, rather, of the cap is sort of broke down and, you know, and I don't think I've shoved it down extra hard or anything like that the last time I put it on. Okay, I added some to it. It's probably going to, hopefully it's going to mix with the stuff that was already in there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take an empty jar and uh, just in case it starts to leak and I'm going to put it in the fridge. Yeah, I sure wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, I guess it's uh, pretty obvious we're not going to spray today. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get a coffee visitor. He's going to be here in just a little over an hour. Got to do the final edit. You've heard this song before. Uh, yeah, I just don't feel like spraying today. So what else is new, right? I am going to try and attach the sunrise though. It won't be in time lapse. It uh, covers approximately an hour. In fact, it starts out so so early the camera is still in night mode. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.